Changing ourselves is not enough. In order to keep changing, we need to help others change. That's the sadaqah that you give for change. If Allah has helped you and enabled you to change and correct your ways, help others. It will help you create momentum. And that's the underlying principle of Al-Amr bil Ma'roof wal Nahi al Munkar. Enjoining the good and forbidding the evil. And we all know the story where the Prophet ﷺ talked about past nations. That there were a town indulging in sin. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent upon them punishment. When the angels of punishment came down, they found this one person. He worships Allah, he's righteous. So they said to Allah, there is one good righteous person among them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, start with him. Because he saw people sinning against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, violating the rights of Allah, and it never moved him. He had no resistance to that in his heart. He never gave advice. So start with him. Because Muslims are productive. Muslims don't only care for themselves, they care for others. And that's the premise for da'wah. That's the premise for da the premise for da'wah. That's what the Prophet ﷺ spent his life doing. That's what the companions did. They traveled the earth, sharing the message of Islam. Don't be selfish. Share it not only with your words, but with your actions. The more eloquent. Through your honesty, cleanliness, truthfulness, justice, kindness, care, attention, integrity. People should associate these meanings with Islam. But most of the time it's the opposite and we're responsible for it. So we need to change that state. When you see people around you, people falling into something wrong, don't think you're infringing on their personal rights when you, let, when you, when you give them advice. No, you're violating their rights if you let them alone. If you let them do that sin, you are violating their rights. You're not being sincere. You're not taking care of them. You're not being or you're not acting as a real Muslim. That's why we have the concept of nasiha in Islam. And most of the time we misunderstand it. We think nasiha is only advice. Nasiha is a way of life. Nasiha in the Arabic language means purity of the heart. That you have a pure heart that cares for others. That wants good for others. That's what nasiha means. But one of its manifestations is when you want good for others is that you give them advice. That's all what it is. But the reality of nasiha is that you have a pure heart towards others. Concern for them. Just as the Prophet ﷺ had concern for his people. That even when they pushed him out of Mecca. When they caused him to bleed, they held stones on him. And the angel, Allah sent down the angel of the mountains. And Jibreel said to the Prophet ﷺ, he is the angel of the mountains. He can cause the mountains to collapse, fall on them, destroy them. He said, no. I'm hoping that Allah will bring from their descendants, their progeny, people who would worship Allah. And he would say, Allahumma ghfir li qawmi fa innahum la ya'lamun. Oh Allah, forgive my people because they don't know. After all the harm and pain they inflicted on him. And how, we, how do we do this? With gentleness and kindness. No harshness. That's how the Prophet ﷺ was. And he said, Allah gives for gentleness and kindness more than He gives for harshness. So this is the way of our Prophet ﷺ. And that's what Islam teaches us. Islam makes us the best human beings ever. It cultivates us in all aspects of human life. It teaches us the skills and the meanings we need for life. To lead a good, purposeful life. That's what Islam teaches us. Allahumma akhfir lil mu'minina wal mu'minat wal muslimina wal muslimat al ahyai minhum wal amwat. Allahumma kulli al mustadha'afina min al mu'minina fi kulli makan. Allahumma ansurhum ala aduwika wa aduwihim. Allahumma abrim li hadihi al-ummati amra rushd yu'azzu fihi ahlu ta'atik wa yuhda fihi ahlu ma'asiyatik. Allahumma habib ilayna al-eeman wa zayinhu fi qulubina wa karrih ilayna al-kufra wal fusuqa wal asiyan wa jalna min al-rashidin. Wa sallallahu sallam ala nabiyina Muhammad wa alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam.